Hi everybody, it's Gail from Gail's Bookish Things. Today, a wonderful little package arrived in the mail. I was so excited to get this. I knew that it was on its way, but I wasn't sure when it was going to arrive. This is from my YouTube friend, Hannah, and I met her watching her um, videos on collaging, and I really appreciated her soft-spokenness and her journaling, or I'm um, sorry, her um, collaging style and just commented on her videos here and there. And the next thing you know, we we have been talking back and forth and she wanted to send me a little package. So I'm super excited to get into this. I just opened it. I have no idea what's inside, but I did want to point out the wonderful detail on this envelope. I just love it when people have this collaging talent. It's just so something. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how to even describe it. I don't know what the right adjectives are, but this is just so beautiful, simple and elegant. All the, the elements tie together. There's this golden... I'd call it kind of a golden yellow, and those flowers, it picks up on the aged look of this piece of paper here with the beehive um, and writing on there, and then the, the stamps have that same color on them. And I need to do research, please pardon my ignorance, but I'm guessing that's the Queen of Sweden. Um, I, I don't know much about that so I would like to know more and I'm going to look into that. I love this washi here that has the grid pattern. This is just a pretty little sticker there as well as the girl with the daisies and I am a fan of daisies. And then on the back more of this washi. I just covered up our addresses with my washi. And this little sticker is coming loose. Isn't that cute though? Isn't that sweet? Oh come on. So all these little elements I will carefully remove and put in one of my journals. And I love these little dot stickers. This looks like some scrapbooking paper um, or maybe maybe some paper that was just she printed, I'm not sure, or from a gift bag or tissue. I love that. And then another, another girl, very cute. I'm really enjoying stickers like that lately. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's take a look. And thank you, Hannah, very much for this thoughtful gesture. I'm very touched that you would want to do this for me. So thank you. Make sure I have it out. Ooh, how nice. Let's see if I can open it. Oh, cool. A pen pouch. Oh my goodness. Did you make this? How beautiful. That stitching. Gosh. If I could only be so tidy with my work. I am just a sloppy person. I just get it done and I hurry through things and I, I appreciate those of you out there who are very meticulous and precise. Thank you. I am going to love, love, love using that. This looks like a, oh my gosh, that's so sweet. It looks like it's signed Mama and Papa. Oh, wow. Sweden. Very simple address back in the day. It's a dial and it shows different saints at the top as you turn it. And this is so cool. That is the neatest thing I've ever seen. I love it. So. Beautiful, how fun. Looks like there's a, a little letter. Okay, let's look at the big things and we'll open up the little pouch. Very neat. Stone ship created during the Swedish Iron Age. Wow, that is just a beautiful postcard. How neat, how neat. Oh, I love that. I've always thought I would love to travel to parts of the world and I haven't been to very many parts of the world. I've been to England, I've been to Mexico, but paper tasting. Unique Japanese papers. 
Paper characterized by its soft touch with its excellent surface strength. Used for business cards, invitations, brochures, and general publications. Wow. So it tells you here what this kind of paper is good for. Isn't that cool? Yamamoto paper. Okay, very nice. How fun. I have never seen anything like that that gives you a guide on there. <clears throat> Ooh, this feels nice. Wow. I, I'm wondering if the little letter will explain this. I think this is some new paper to try. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to use my currently inked pens on that. Thank you, thank you. There's a couple little packages and some more. This feels so amazing. Oh my gosh. Wow. Ah, get the pens. Let's let's forget the video and let's Let's get out the pens. There's a cute little paper clip in there, holding it all together. Aren't these lovely? Oh, those are so neat. I I love using stickers. They they're just such a fun way of dressing up your journal pages, and it doesn't take much effort. I, I enjoy using them and just adding, um, you know, maybe an ink using an ink that goes with them. This is fun, too. These are some things in my country. Very, very pretty. Love the colors. I mean, there's such a variety. So, like, whatever color ink I have in a pen, one of these will work very nicely with that. Those are beautiful. I have not, not seen any like that before. Oh, thank you. I can always use blotting paper. The ones I have are getting rather full, shall we say. <laughs> lots of spills and lots of messes and lots of blotting. So this is this is lovely. Nice fresh piece from Jacques Urbain, made in France. Thank you, thank you. I love it. We'll definitely get plenty of good use. This is so nice. Thank you, Hannah. I just I'm in awe of all this. Thank you. A little Leonardo art there. These are cool. Are they little stickers or do I glue them on? I'll have to I'll have to examine that closer. Ah, oh, these are great. Oh, I can't wait to, to do some pages with all this. These are very pretty. I can tell these are stickers. That looks especially Swedish. I don't know, but it, it does to me. Fun. Oh my goodness. These are going to make some really, really neat collages or little collage pieces um, in a corner of a journal page. You said you wanted to send a few stickers, and this is just like such a treat. This is so generous. And it's not like stuff that I have. It's, it's really fun. It's a beautiful little plant sticker. This guy got stuck in there. Come on, come on out. There we go. That's really pretty. Wow, looks very peaceful. And then some lovely washi. Nice. Oh, I like these. This is like patterned or like textured. How neat. Bananas and then some beautiful, colorful cherries and stars and flowers. Smiley. Oh, thank you again for all of this. This is so nice. <clears throat> this just makes journaling so fun. I love decorating pages. I love doing collaging and I love decorating the covers of my journals. And um, very fun to get some new and different things to do that with. American Bible House, New York. Very interesting. I don't know what exactly that would be. That's intriguing to me. From yesteryear. It's a pretty little paper. 
So isn't it fun? I mean, it's just such a wonderful thing to get to know people on YouTube or Instagram that you would never have a chance to meet probably in everyday life. And then to share um, some common interests. These are so neat. I, I'm just so thankful for that. I'm very thankful for the friendships that have emerged. Oh, that's really pretty. Um, through this avenue. Ooh, this is lovely. Oh, nice. What a cool color. Is that what they call a crew or something like that? That's very pretty. Wow. I can kind of see that maybe on coming out of a journal. Maybe some kind of ribbon marker. I don't know. Sky's the limit. <clears throat> anyway, I, I just think it's, it's one of the good things, the best thing about social media. I mean, getting ideas, seeing people do what you like to do, or getting a new take on how to do your hobbies. This is a very lightweight paper. It's really delicate feeling. Star application forms. That's cute. For all those who still have a child's heart. I would say that's me in some ways. <laughs> or you could say I just haven't grown up. I don't know. But no, that's, that's really cool. My sister-in-law has a star named after her. I think. Or she just has a star that's named. But I forgot how that worked. I wonder what this building is. Very interesting. I'll have to look up that too. It looks tropical. I should know the flag. I'm sorry I don't. Tell me if you know. Ooh, look at the deer. That's fun. It's like a sticker that's like a collage. That's beautiful. How fun. I love that. Their neat little journaling piece of ephemera. Oh, this is going to be so fun. So fun, so fun. My husband's going out of town. Wednesday for a few days, and I do have to read my book club book, <coughs> or I'm not going to get done in time, but I also have visions of doing some, excuse me, <coughs> journaling and using these things, not all of them, of course, at once, but just delving in. I'm, I'm looking, not because I'm greedy, but I don't want to miss something that's stuck in there. Okay, I'm just seeing that show through. Okay. Cute. This is neat. The This kind of like vinyl background. I like that. It's adorable. These are so cute. I love these like everyday poses and... People doing things that people do, like here, gardening, and so forth. These are just absolutely adorable, and it's so, like, detailed. Like, I don't know if you can see, but her tennis shoes and socks. Anyway, I'm not sure how I'm doing on filming that. There's another, another one hiding. Ah, I love these. Oh. Whoops, 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 whoops. How fun. And some old, like, uh, cards. Reproductions of playing cards. That's really cool. And this this is funny because my son is in a art class, and they just had to design a deck of cards. Not all the cards, but some of the face cards and the box. And for some reason, this especially... It's interesting since he had to do that. Very cool. I love that vintage look. There's a couple more girls. On bikes and with flowers. Another daisy. Ooh, 
these are awesome. These are so fun. Oh my gosh. Thank you a million times over. I just, I'm so excited about using this. This is really cool. It's like a torn out page. That looks really neat. I love how they did that. See the beauty in the moment. Okay, that's that's really special because that is a focus that I have been thinking about this year, <coughs> but really for the past couple of years. Trying to live in the moment. We have a sign above our fireplace that says, these are the good old days. And it kind of fits in with, with that sentiment, I think, because... Um, what you're living now, our moments now, are what we will look back on in the future and say, oh, remember when this, that, and the other. And I am trying to grow in my ability to live in the moment, enjoy what's happening, and remember that there's no perfect time coming, per se. Each moment is special. It's, it's our life. So live it, enjoy it, savor it. And that just fits right in with that. The beauty in the moment. These are just the most striking stickers. The color, the detail, the sharpness is really incredible. I really like these. I like it all, but I've just not seen such fine detail on those. Thank you so much for all this. Oh my gosh, little um, swatch card. How fun. Oh, neat, neat, neat some little note sticky notes I always need sticky notes I go through them rather quickly thank you for those and then this looks like it's from the travelers company oh that's cool I love trains it's it's one of my bucket list things so you know in my daily journaling challenge I had um, a weekly I think I started out with wishes. I don't know if I remember to put it on my list, but one wish I have is to take more train rides. We did one a few years back where my daughter's at college, and it was very nice, but it just kind of went up the track, and it was scenic, but then it came back, and it was an hour, and it was, it was nice. But I want to take a trip that goes somewhere, and you can get off the train along the way and get back on. I think that's uh, a fun thing. So... That's really fun. I am hoping to get to Italy in um, May. I'm going to visit my son and daughter-in-law and one of my grandsons. Uh, they're in the Air Force, or he is. I think that some of this will tie in with that trip. I'll be able to use these to commemorate some of those events. I love the kind of vintage-looking label. Thank you, Hannah, so much for all this. I... I feel very grateful. I feel very thankful that you would think of me. I appreciate your generosity and thoughtfulness with all these things. It's just absolutely a little treasure here of goodies for a journaler and fountain pen person's heart. So you know that because you do those things. Thank you for all this. I appreciate it ever so much. And thank you all for watching and sharing in the excitement as I did this unboxing of these beautiful gifts. We'll see y'all again soon. Take care.